This is a video about uh, tall radius compensation or diameter compensation uh, on a Fanuc control or a Haas control or a Heidenheim control. It works very similar on all the controls. Now if you've got a Mazak control with the ISO option, it's going to work exactly the same way as the Fanuc and the Haas. On the Haas or the Fanuc, uh, we would use a G41 and a G42 and a G40 to cancel the compensation and on a Heidenheim we'd use RL for compensate to the left and RR to the right and then RO when we come to cancel it but the rules are the same uh, this, so let's have a look at this component this is a just a standard square component um, and I'm going to machine around the outside of this component so if you look if we put some stock on this component it would look like that so we're going to machine around the outside and take away that stock so let's talk about what we would do if we didn't have the ability to compensate for the tool the way we would have to program this part if we were say our CAD CAM system couldn't output this or I'm sure they all can but if for some reason we got a program without it. So let's imagine that we were going to machine around this shape here which is actually 100 mil by 100 mil. So effectively in our program um, shape wise it would be x50, y50, x minus 50, y minus 50 etc etc but that would effectively mean that we were machining this with a needle or the centre like at the point of a tool which obviously is impossible uh, what we'd actually have to do is machine it bigger to allow for the cutter now on this particular job we've got a 12 millimeter cutter so when that 12 millimeter cutter is going around this job we are effectively six millimeters away from the job so as you write your program you've got to add six millimeters on to these dimensions which is quite easy on a square uh, quite simple but obviously if we had rads or if we had any kind of curve or anything like that or an angle it would get quite difficult to do because uh, how would we calculate the shape then um, so it would be very difficult uh, the other problem comes that what do we do if this cutter starts to wear or if in fact we decide that we don't want to use this cutter and we want to use a different one and we can't guarantee that this is not going to run out or in fact it could give us an oversized component or if it was running out it would effectively give us an undersized component so we would then have to jump into the program and modify the whole thing so I think this makes a good case for just not doing that uh, but obviously we need to talk about it and if you look at this code on the right this will show you what you would actually do um, you would need to program uh, this component is 100 by 100 so you're talking about something that's uh, uh, 50 in X and 50 in Y so the actual shape all these corners each one is 50 mil so the actual program you would actually have to add six millimeters onto each dimension so you're going to be moving first of all up to y56 that's six mil more than the 50 then when you come across to the x minus again it's 56 and then up to y56 across to um, uh, x56 and then you're going to come down to y minus 56 you're going to move across to the center and then just uh, moving down to y minus 65 so that's the part programmed without compensation and yes it works uh, but it's not correct it's not the best way to do this because as i explained earlier on there's loads of issues with this so we're going to do it the correct way and the best way So first of all we're going to compensate to the left cutting around the outside of this component with a G41 
Then we're going to compensate to the right, again cutting around the outside of this component with a G42. Then we're going to go to the inside, again on the left, using G41. And then we're going to do the inside again, this time on the right hand side, using G42. So that's the four ways that you would do it. So let's watch this come into action now, down in Z, and then it applies the cutter comp in the Y axis using the D01, which is the work offset that we're going to use, and the G41, which tells it to compensate to the left. So it gets, arrives at X0 and Y minus 50 at a feed rate of 500 millimeters a minute. Then we start moving around this part, X minus 50, up to Y50, then all the way across to X50, and back down to Y minus 50, back to the center where we started from, and then we cancel the cutter comp. And this is where we use the G40 to get rid of it and end up right back where we started. So now let's have a go at uh, programming this on a hide and hang control, which again, it's just, it's exactly the same principle, same rules, everything. It's just a slightly different way of applying the cutter compensation. So let's just go to the beginning of this program. You do a go to and a zero, enter, which takes you back to the beginning. Then you also want to um, reset your blank form and then you can start to step this through. If we go to um, single start, so we're going to our, we've got the blank form there, which is 110, uh, 55 and 55. So it's 110 by 110 and it's 10 millimeter thick. So that's fine, that gives us plenty of material to machine off. We've got this 12 millimeter end mill, which is in tool six. We're gonna to tool change it. And we're bringing it down to 65 and X zero. So it's well clear of the job, down in Z. And then we're gonna apply the cutter comp, uh, which is this RL. So we're going to X zero and Y minus 50 at a feed rate of 500 mil a minute, and we're going to compensate to the left, which is the same as a G41, but on a hiding hand, you put this RL. So then it's uh, it's down in Z, it's come into there, it's slightly behind what it's actually doing. It's going to go to X minus 50, which is there. It's going to go to Y50, which is there. It's going to X50, which is there. Y minus 50 again, then it comes back to zero. So it ends up, where it started you could overlap if you wanted and then we're coming off to cancel it which is the equivalent this ro is the equivalent to a g40 so that's how this would work on a hide and hang control quite simple the rl replaces your g41 you don't need to keep repeating that you can if you want but i wouldn't recommend it i just put it in it knows you've applied it and then cancel it at the end with the ro which is your g40 when you're not using it anymore.